In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Calendar on your laptop. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to your browser and make sure that you've signed in with your Gmail account. So you'll find that on the top right over here. And once this is done, we can go to Google Calendar. So you'll have to search for calendar.google.com. So just search for this. And now as you can see, we've reached Google Calendar. So I'll quickly show you around Google Calendar and then I'll show you how to create an event and more. So the interface is extremely simple. On the left, you'll have options to create tasks. Then you can see the full month calendar. After that, the main screen is what you can change. So currently, it's showing me the calendar for February. But I can change this view to per day or per month and I'll show you all of this in the video. So now I'll show you how to create an event in Google Calendar. So to create an event, just click on the create button that's in the top left over here. Then they'll ask you if you want to create an event or task. So right now, I'll just show you how to create an event. And now just click on more options, which is at the bottom. So over here, you'll have a lot more options. And now I'll show you how to start creating an event. So first, just add the title of the event on top. Now I've added the title and below this, I can add the date and time for the event. So currently it's Feb 8th, 11.30 to 12.30. But if I want to change it, I can just click on this, then change the date. So if I want it on 21st February, I'll click on that. Then the same way, I can change the start time and end time. After that, if you want this event to be there for the full day, you can just select all day over here. And now for the full day, on Feb 21st, you'll see this event. Then if you want this to repeat, you can just click on this. And they have a few options, like daily, weekly, etc. And you can also create a custom schedule from here. So just click on custom. And here, you'll have the option of making this repeat every week, month, year. And you can decide the days on which it repeats. So you can go through this and then just click on done. After that, they have a lot of options over here. So first, you can link this event with Google Meet if you want by just clicking on Add Google Meet. After that, you can add a location to this meeting. So let's say I put Mumbai. I can just type that in and select it. Then I can decide if I want to receive notifications for this event. So if I want to, I can just click on Add Notification. Then I have an option if I want to receive a notification or email. So you can select any of these options and then select the frequency. And then you can change all of this data. So right now I'll receive a notification one day before 9 a.m. Then you can set a color for this event by just clicking on this button and then select any color you want. After this, you can add a description to this event. So over here, you can type in anything you want. And then if you click on this event, you'll find this description. And now there's one last thing, and that's adding guests to this event. So if you want to add guests, just click on add guests that's over here and start typing in the email IDs. So for now, I've added one guest and then you can decide what permissions you want to give them. So you can allow them to modify the event, invite more people or see the guest list. And you've all of these options over here. And once this is done, we've created the event and to save it, just click on save, which is over here. Then you can decide if you want to send an invitation email to the guest. So that's up to you. And now as you can see, the event which we created called business meeting has come here on 21st. So this is basically how to create an event. And now I'll show you a few more things in Google Calendar. So the first thing is changing the view of the dashboard. So you'll find this option on the top right over here. So currently it's on the month view, but if I want, then I can change this to a daily view, a weekly view, and there are more options. So just click on it. And as you can see, all the options have come here. So now if I click on week, as you can see, it'll show me my calendar for this week. And there's one option which I really like, and that's schedule. So again, click on this button on the top right and select schedule. And now as you can see, it's given me a list of all of my upcoming tasks and events. 
So over here, I can see the event names, and then on the left, I can see the date and time. So this is one thing which I find really helpful. After this, you can decide which calendars you want to see in your main calendar. So on the left, under my calendars, you'll find all of your calendars which are shown. But if you want to hide one, so let's say I want to hide holidays in India, then I can just untick this checkbox, and as you can see, all the holidays have gone. And to get it back, it's the same way. Just tick the checkbox, and it's back. So the same way you can decide which calendars you want to see. And now there's only one thing left to do, and that's to edit or delete an event. So let's say I want to edit this event, business meeting. Then I can just click on it, and here you'll find options to edit it or delete it. So if I want to edit, I can just click on this icon, and the same way make any changes I want to. And if I want to delete this, then I'll just click on More Actions, which is over here, and click on Delete. Then I can decide how many events I want to delete. If I only want to delete this one, then I'll select this event. Or if I want to delete the upcoming ones as well, then I'll select this option over here, and then just click on OK. And now, as you can see, the event has gotten deleted from 21st and 28th, which was showing earlier. So this is basically how to use Google Calendar. And if you want to know how to use different Google apps, then check out this playlist over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.